Um, just bad coaching. That's all I can say on tonight's game. This game is on me, totally. No players, just strictly on me. Jason, can you elaborate more on that? What, why just I didn't do anything right tonight, so I let my guys down. In terms of when you say I didn't do anything right, like game plan or substitutions or what, play call? Like I, Just say everything. Yeah. We lost the game that we, we needed to win, and we didn't get it done. So it's on me. So uh, having said that, like how, do you, how, do you, how are you kind of digesting that, that realization? I just have to get better. I have to get better and help us prepare for Alabama. Did you like what you saw out of your players more so than what you had seen against Georgia against Ole Miss? Yeah, there were some some glimpses in there in the last seven minutes of the first half. It's pretty good. In, in terms of things that you you think you you did wrong, is it playing too many? Earlier in the year, you said I sub too much. You know, play too many players. Have to focus on the nine or whatever it is. Do you think that gets in the way of the players knowing their roles? Uh, I don't think it gets in the way of knowing their roles. Everybody just needs to maximize their minutes. Everybody just needs to maximize their minutes. You know, our strength is in numbers, so um, everybody just needs to maximize their minutes. Penny, it, it seemed like Earl was limping off there in the handshake line post game. Um, is there any update on how he's feeling so far? Uh, I'm sure he has a sore ankle from the, uh, twisting it on that play where he missed the layup. So we'll have to uh, assess him tomorrow and see how it feels. If he's limping tonight, I know it's going to be worse tomorrow. Where do you guys go from here? I mean, it's four in a row. You got your two <laughs> toughest gate. You got your two toughest games. You know, based on ranking coming up here next week. Yeah, it's uh. It says you just got to keep working, man. That's all we can do. All I can do as a coach is keep working. Four games in a row. You said every speech. You said everything that needed to be said. I just have to uh, keep pushing. As the leader, I have to keep pushing us in the right direction. Frank. Penny, I know this is a low point. Have, have you reached this kind of depth before in your career as Never. a player? Or, um, how do you – find positive energy, which is going to be so important with you know, two months to play um, at this depth? I mean, it's not. There's so much going on in our country. Uh, four losses in a row is horrible for a team that shouldn't have had them. But it's not life or death. You know, we're going to go back and push. My faith in God, I understand what's going on. We just got the weather or storm. So that's what's going to push me through. But it's not like, it's devastating, but it's not as serious as what's going on in our country. So I'm not I'm not trying to, you know, parallel that, but as far as getting out of a four game losing streak, I've never been here. But I do know that I'm a fighter and uh <laughs> I'll figure it out. From your viewpoint, you guys closed the half so strong. I, I guess from your vantage point, what happened in the second half? We came out and got laxed and started taking bad shots and wasn't playing defense. They scored like four times in a row on plays that we knew were coming. We had been guarding it great in the first half, and the second half is almost like we thought the game was over. They caught rhythm uh, and started making shots. When you let a team like that get their confidence up, uh, I saw the momentum happening. That's why I started trying to change and try to go with, you know, older guys in there to try to, you know, the guys that have won before. And it just seemed like we were playing so tight right now. That's the biggest thing for me. We're not having fun. We're playing so tight, and it's like the pressure of the world it's on us, and I keep telling these guys to have fun, but it's like we can't get out of our own way. And in the first, in the second, first five minutes of the second half, we didn't get any stops. The next four minutes, no stops, bad shots, no stops, bad shots, giving up offensive rebounds. At some point, I'm just going to have to figure out how to get this done. It's just, it's just how it has to be because there was no way, and I'm not taking any credit or anything away from Murray State, 
they had a great game plan. They went to their, their guns. Um, and, um, you know, we just got to shake this and then figure out a way to beat Alabama and then get on a running streak. Penny, you said you've never had this where you've lost four games in a row. Um, you have somebody on your staff who I'm, I'm assuming has at some point in his career. I mean, has Larry said anything to you along the way of just experience with weathering times like this as a coach? Man, when you're just a fighter, I mean, I've gone through plenty of adversity in my life, and this is a low point in basketball besides my knee surgeries, but never saw this coming, and I just feel like it's, it's happening for a reason, man, until we all bond together. This type of stuff can happen. You know, other teams to me seem closer. They're having more fun. They're making plays. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get there.